Hello, I'm Deacon Neal. Welcome to our thought for today. You know, I've always I always remember homilies or readings that tell a story. A story like this one, for instance. It was well past midnight and still the old man could not sleep. He spent the day watching cable news and he was very upset with the whole world. It's evil, he thought. This world of ours is hopelessly evil. It's wicked and doomed. Then after hours of tossing and turning, suddenly it seemed to him that he heard a voice speaking in the darkness. He felt that the voice was a voice of an angel. Go to sleep, old man, it seemed to say. I'll sit up the rest of the night. But in the future, remember this old saying, anxiety never baked a cake, built a bridge, won a battle, or solved a single problem. Important as we think we are, we really render ourselves less useful and less important if we let worry stall all our action. The best thing we can do is to work with all our strength on the opportunities God gives us. We can and should leave the successful production of the big show to God, the divine producer and director. Just think how many times have we faced a problem we have no solution for? An errant child, no matter how old, a job, a sibling, and any of our current shared problems. And so at daily mass, we humbly place the problem in God's hand, leaving mass relieved and confident that God will handle it. But, but, well, by lunch, we believe maybe we have another brilliant solution of our own, forgetting that at Mass this morning, we ask God to take this burden off our back. Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Let us pray for the grace to let go and let God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this daily, day, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil, amen. May you have a wonderful day, free of all useless worry, worry, worry.